So where are we going today, Mr. Boo? Today we are going to... <gasps> Drum roll. Societe Generale. Sospel. Hi, welcome back to me and Monami, and today we are taking you for lunch in the fantastic mountain village of Sospel. <laughs> So today is a serious challenge for Elton because it is a 55 kilometer journey. It takes us 1750 meters above sea level and we are going to travel to Sospel via France's most dangerous road, the D22, which goes to Saint Agnès. So um, sit back and enjoy the ride. Beyonce's birthday. Happy birthday, Beyonce. I know you watch. Ooh, who's Beyonce? kilometers of range already. I've never seen this bird so much so fast. It's really amazing. It's because it's just sheer uphill. This is first level bit we've done since Vio Front. It's just been a constant climb. Will we get to Santa Agnes? Yeah. We've got the power bank anyway. Haven't we? Yeah. So in about 300 meters we're gonna turn right onto the uh, infamous D22 which is uh, often described as France's, or certainly one of France's most dangerous roads. You'll see why. Oh, full look at the tire marks on this corner. <laughs> look at that view. It's still absolutely terrifying. The drop down there is thousands of meters, well, at least a thousand meters, I would say more. It's very scary on this corner. You can't see a thing, it's completely blind. And now we're headed for the tunnel which carved through the rock face. View and here comes someone. Luckily, bit of space, bit of space. Phew. I'm glad we didn't meet him in that back passage, aren't you? Oh, but... Wow, look at this. Ooh. I love this road, it's so terrifying and so absolutely magical nothing quite like it and 
we're getting even narrower. I mean, you can barely get a pram round here. It's <laughs> let alone two cars. But look at that view up ahead. Just mesmerizing. But yeah, we're down to 16 now. I'm glad we got the power bank with us because if we're stuck, we can just bung in 10 and carry on to Santag Yes. But if there's no charger there, <laughs> Sospel may be cancelled. Is this the Col de la Madone? Oui. So this is the famous, it's where all the cyclists come to train, all the really top, top, top cyclists uh, come to train. And this is the famous Col de la Madone. There's the sculpture that marks it. There's a little bike, look. Ah. It's an Enjoy Coca-Cola sign. Is it? Yeah, it must have sponsored something. Look at this. If you thought it was narrow there, this... Well, I hope you can see this on the camera. The Ami is almost the width of the entire road. The odd little bit like this where you could uh, pull in and overtake, but, but on these bits, it's almost a footpath, isn't it? Width. The thing, that postman must have to drive up every day. I bet there's only one house on here and he still has to bring their letter. Don't you? I bet he's furious if they get a new gas bill. I bet he's on bended knee pleading with them to go paperless. Mm. Wow. Oh, I can't even look down there. Oh, 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 God. Finally, we spy Santa Agnes. Hallelujah, there it is, clinging to the hillside. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? A final climb, boy. Down to 15 now. What's going on? So it was round here, wasn't it? Yep. So. It looks like it's open today. And it's here. Isn't that annoying? She is pretty, isn't it? Oh no, it's not your right. It's one top. So, they're at green. Let us hope it's working. Shall I do it? No, I'll do it. It's easy. Okay. Oh, but you have to do charge pass, don't you? Yeah. So just put it on. It's the same, it's the same system, it's just a different card. Oh, okay. Cool. I've never used charge pass. Yes, you have. Where is it? <laughs> do what we brought it. Why, why isn't it where, it where they always are? I don't know, but it's the most fundamental thing we've not checked. I'm going to reverse. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, is this the old one? Oh, it's the one in the front here. We have one that went duff. I'm going to have to... No, Twiggy. Yeah, I know. Wait. Good girl, you've been really good girl. Riddles. Hey. <laughs> no, Twiggy, come here. Just a second, Twiggy, wait your turn. Come off. It's rock. Oh god. Oh. It's been unscrewed. Cross everything. You come on. No. 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 I mean, it 
maybe doing that thing of charging and but not showing. No, oh, these have never done, done that. It's gone blue. It says it's charging, look. I think we could leave it for 10 minutes and come back and see if it is charging. OK. It could be one of those. Sometimes we have this thing that the uh, it shows blue like it's charging. It doesn't show up on the car, and yet when you come back, it's recharged. Anybody's guess. Um, right, I think what we should do, Mr. Bill, is go get a coffee. Yes. And uh, cross everything that this recharges, and we'll recharge the cameras, and then we'll hopefully carry on to um, Sospel. So we um, went back to the car, discovered that that charger wasn't working. So then we plugged it into the one on the other side. We should let Mr. Boo stick his finger in. Anyway, we are now charging. So now we're having a coffee uh, in Santa Agnes, and um, we're going to have to leave in about half an hour in order to get to Sospel in time for lunch. Um, whether we've got enough charging in half an hour is. Uh, the big question. So, the moment of truth. We are going to have to leave if we're going to get to uh, Sospel on time. So, let's see whether we've got enough charge in here or indeed any. Open the door. Cross everything, Mr. Boo. You do the wire. I'll check the charge. <laughs> we left it at 15 and that was at uh, about and just under an hour ago and we're now at. 39, not bad. not bad. Let's go for it. On to Sospel. Sospel is what, 25 kilometers away? 25 kilometers. Uphill, and we've got 39 in the, t in the battery, so we shall see, but we've got to leave. So we're now dropping down in the direction of Monton, which is a bit disconcerting, but it's only for a little bit, and then we're going to head back up. Uh, where we should probably climb to something like the level we've just been at, maybe not quite as high, but actually it could be higher because this is only the highest on the coast, isn't it? Yes. Um, Sospel could be higher. Meters, we're finally going to turn. I'm told. Oh, look, there's a Citroen of me. Oh, ah. what are you doing up here? Well, of all, all the places you expected to find a Citroen of me, people are always saying, I never see any Citroen of me in France. We see them endlessly around here and in the most unlikely of places like this. There it is. If it's your Citroen of me, drop us a comment. We'd love to uh, hear from you. So, we begin the climb again, we hope. Um, so, feels so strange to have come down or to go back, especially when you're short on power, but that's what we have to do. And we're looking at 19 kilometers, 30 minutes. So we are gonna be late for lunch. 1.15 would have been. But, uh, they'll be okay, five minutes late. Well, we're not going onto the motor, are we? No, it's a slip road that goes along the side. I hope the you're fence. right. So if we're stuck on there, we're finished. Not only will we be flat, we'll be murdered and arrested. What a drive this is. Alongside the motorway into Italy. It's terrifying. Oh. I really don't like it. No. It's freaking me out for some reason. I don't know why. It's the dual nature yeah. of it, the dual levels of it that are freaking me out. There's traffic light here. Yeah. But again, you keep seeing these signs, the A8. I wish be sure we're going to be put on it at some point, but we're not. No. <laughs> this road is insane. Look at this. Oh, 
OMG. It, it'd be bad enough without the roadwork. Is it up there? You're going to have to tell me. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. This is insane. I can't even think we're going to get up here. Oh, 15 kilometres an hour we're doing coming up here. We're almost stopping. And another set of traffic lights, dear God. It's police over there. Be careful. Left. left, it's right. Oh. You can't go left. No, that's onto the motorway left. God. Jesus. Isn't it? I've no yeah. idea, bro. I th yeah. just think yes, this, this is, is right. Way. This feels like a total disaster to me. No, we're on the right road. And we're going away from the motorway. And away from the police. And away from the police. On the border. <laughs> oh! Smuggling two hours. So we're going up there. Yeah. Access to Italy closed. Why? They closed Italy. Is that the old Monton Sospel tram? It certainly is. There was a tram, 17 kilometre long tram, went up there, I think, from uh, Monton all the way up to Sospel. It was still running into the 30s, I think. 1932, yeah. something like that. Um, amazing. There is another viaduct up there. I believe that's the Viaduct de Carnel. Oh, the famous one. And that was for the tram as well from Monton. Yeah. Well, I wonder if we can see that, folks. The wonderful viaduct de caramel. Yeah, maybe just capture it on the 360 behind these trees, up at the top of the screen. There it is. I'll try and come around this even slower. Um, we should get it on this corner. Wow, there it is, the viaduct de caramel. It looks like it's a preserved viaduct or something, doesn't it? Mm. Like it's a historical monument. Um, Imagine on the tram going around there in 1930. I wonder if there was a disaster that ended the tram, because often these trams, they ended with disasters, didn't they? They were a big accident and then they were never re reopened. Um, that's certainly what happened more or less with the ghost train of Monaco, isn't it? Yeah, the La Turbi Monaco. Yeah, we've made a video about that. Check it out, the ghost train of Monaco. Well, it was all about going up uh, the steepest hill on the Riviera, but we did it on the old train track, which um, goes from Monaco up to La Turbi. Um, but you're getting a great view of the viaduct now up there. Look at that. Gorgeous. Amazing. I want to drive onto it. Yeah, you can, by yourself. And here, look, is the, the viaduct as it comes across the road. Wow, it's beautifully uh, preserved. It must be. I think it must have a preservation order on it. Yeah. How amazing. Now we're going over it, look. What a journey that must have been. I wonder how long it took. Three weeks. So we're now down to 22 in the battery and it's eight kilometers away. I still think we're gonna struggle. I've got severe doubts we're gonna make it because it's uh, 7.8 kilometers and we're now down to 20 kilometers in the battery. We need a few more bits like this that are undulating rather than sheer across everything. We seem to be currently burning up three kilometers of range for every one kilometer we go forward, which means by my reckoning, we will be totally flat at some point. We need a lot of luck and a level bit. 
I don't see it coming if we're going back up to 1800. I just can't see how it can happen. So we just had the battery warning signal, which has never kicked in this early. It's kicked in at 16. And we are now traveling at 19 kilometers an hour so uphill. We... This is a disaster. I knew when we were down there, we couldn't do it. We, we just didn't, we should, what we should have done folks is looked at the topological map and realized just how much you had to come down to go back. That never crossed my mind. I thought once we were up at St. Ignace, we carried on at that level-ish. We didn't, we started again. We dropped right down into the valley. Um, but I mean, this is, uh, we, at this rate, we'll be there about Easter. Um, so we need somewhere to pull over and try and add some charge, but what a disaster. So we pull in here. In here? In here. Yeah. Some shade. So let's hope there's something in the power bank. Um, right. So we need to get the car on charge and see if we can add maybe 10 to get us there. I knew we didn't leave it long enough in the thing, we, we rushed it. But we did, I thought we had enough, but I just didn't know. I don't know. It's... I'll just put you on your lead so you can't get away. It's at 100%. Yeah. Thank God I charged it up. So, turned it off, turned it back on. Now the power bank is not playing along. I think I'm pressing the wrong button. So it's charging, it's showing three hours 56 to a full charge, but obviously we, we probably can get maybe 10 out of it, 12. Um, but we're now stuck in a lay-by for an hour. Great. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a good route. Mm. So the situation is this, the, for some reason at 16 kilometers an hour, uh, or 16 kilometers remaining in the battery, the, the uh, it started to go slow, maximum speed 19 kilometers an hour, which up this hill is, is ridiculously crazily dangerous. So we've got the power bank on, we've now got about 30% into it. Whether we still have enough to get up to Sospel or not, I've no idea, because we're burning about three kilometers for every one kilometer of range we add. Um, so what we're gonna say to you is, join us next week to see what happens and whether we get to Sospel, and uh, if we do, We'll show you the wonders of Sospel. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like, please give us a comment, and remember, uh, think about buying us a coffee, and you know what I'm gonna say, and oh, the irony is, well, stay charged.